And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we're bringing you even more knives and gear this week from brands like Hibben, CRKT, Kaiser, Cansep, and Antalya, yeah! or OKC. Mm, really? Mm. OKC? Mm -hmm. If there are any knives you guys want us to review or look at, please leave a comment below. We'd be more than willing to shake up a few episodes. Okay, so first knife up is my second favorite on wow. the table for this week. Already? Yep. The CRKT style. Aha! Uh -huh. This nice. one's reminiscent of the CEO. Ready? Yep, go ahead. This true gentleman's knife, designed by the world-renowned knife designer Ken Onion. That dude's really cool in places. He is. He is, isn't he? Yeah. This sleek, slim profile carry balances both style and function with its drop point plain edge, 3.18 inch, 12 C27 Sandvik steel blade, lightweight but strong 6061 aluminums handle and added touch of useful jimping. Yep, yeah, that's what's the point of jimping if it ain't useful, right? We don't need it. Mm, I might need it still. This knife is 7.38 inches overall and weighs only 2.1 ounces. The slider lock also features the IKBS ball bearing pivot system, a jim flipper stud, and assisted opening, all for easy one-hand deployment. This blade also sports a low-profile pocket, deep carry pocket clip, lanyard hole backspacer right there, for various carry options and, of course, handle texturing for improved grip. In short, this knife is a dash of class, no matter what you use it for, and it's just $69.99 at AtlantaKnife.com. So, you want to go first? I want to go first. Okay, go ahead. Sure, here we go. So, I like this knife a lot. It reminds me of the uh, CEO, like you previously mentioned. I like the sleekness of it. I like the design of the handle, but I do have one issue with it. It also kind of reminds me of a metamorph. Ooh. And I am not is it because of the aluminum a big handle? fan of the metamorph. Yeah, is that because that's the... But I like the way this thing opens, you know. Worst cut. But it wasn't even during the show. <laughs> no. So we haven't really cut ourselves during the show, I don't think. I've almost done mm -hmm. it a few times, but... We haven't cut ourselves since I cut myself oh, last. I did it once right before the show. I had like some type of sog and I went to close it and... That happens. Yeah. And I cut myself on the fox monkey thumper when I was taking a picture of it. Because I was trying to clean the blade with my shirt and I knew I shouldn't have been cleaning my blade with my shirt. But mm -hmm. I did it and I cut my finger. Anyways. Stained your shirt. Yeah. It, there's a hole now. Yeah. NASA is... Oh. Yeah. Um, I think it's very much like the CEO. Uh, it's just a fraction of an inch shorter. I think steel on this one's a little better in my book. So the material on the handle, one on the CEO is GRN. Glass, glass reinforced, reinforced nylon. nylon. Overall, I think this is a snazzier, more spiffed up version of the CEO, but designed by Ken Onion instead of Richard Rogers. So I also like that it has a flipper stud and assisted opening versus the thumb stud and no assisted opening on the CEO. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to like assisted opening now just a little bit more. I think it gives them a little extra, you know, oomph when you open it. And it's easier if it's one-handed, so. Sounds good. Anyways, this is a good line of lock for the price. And if you like the CEO, you'll like this one. You like this one. Exactly. All right. Next blade on the table. I like the When blade. Joel's done playing with that one. Sorry. Is the Cansep Fusa. I'm not I don't know. I think Fusa is better. You like Fusa? Yeah. Fusa. 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 Fusa? Did you say Fusa or did I say Fusa? What did I say? Just call the whole thing off. Oh. Okay, go ahead. I'm not too crazy about this one, and I think everyone out there knows why. But Cansep recently added a lot of new blades. They did the Genesis. The Hazukura. The Wedge. The Weasel. The Stellar. The Bevy. The Revere. The Thank Your Lucky Star. And the Convict. My mother-in-law. All of which are available at... Atlantic.com. There it is. With various colors and material options to choose from. They have a lot of different styles that they're trying out, and I commend them on that. Especially they're releasing so many different blades in such a short period of time. I do think, this is going to sound like a little, you know, but I do think it's going to overwhelm the market just a touch. I mean, I don't think you should be releasing, what, what is it, nine? Ten. Ten. Ten different knives all at once, especially if some of them are really high end, around like $200. But, hey, to each his own. You know the biggest problem with that is, don't you? You release all those knives at once. Even the dealers don't buy as much as they probably would because you're talking tons yeah, of money. Exactly. So they'll buy one or two they think they're going to do good or one or two of each. Yeah, a dozen of each and then be like, you know, 
So see, see, let's see which one sell. It yeah. gives them an opportunity instead of never buy. Yeah, you do them. Yeah. And then you just buy to give me the same amount each time. However, so. all right, we'll get, let's hit this, this one. one. Yeah. Also, people don't have uh, two hundred dollars times ten to go out and buy. Exactly. All right, let's do it. Go ahead. All right, the new Cansep Fusa is available in four different versions. Count them. Various materials. We have the jewel jade one here today. Yes. No surprise, of course. None whatsoever. It has a 3.06 inch 154 cm steel blade with a plain edge, flat grind, satin finish. Overall, it's about seven inches, and the handle comes in yellow G10, jewel jade D10, green micarta, carbon fiber. The slip joints blade deploys using the rounded jimped flipper and closes without any stops. No, nope, no three quarter stops, no nothing. Yep. Lastly, it comes with a tip-up pocket clip, a black pouch, and I'm not going to show you the cleaning cloth, but just trust me, it's in there. A cleaning cloth? Yeah, I think it's blue. And you can have a Cansep Fusa for just $66.50 at LettingKnife.com. All right, I'm going to let you go first again. I'm feeling mm. generous today. Well, it's a really nice knife. I mean, it looks very useful, but it's a slip joint, so it's basically just a gentleman's carry that you will keep in your pocket. and. You know, cut open a few boxes here and there if that's your style. Mm -hmm. I do or like the collecting. options. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I like the handle a lot. It is one of the nicer. Joel Jade ones. Yeah, some of yeah. them you can kind of see through. Yeah, and they I kind of like the color. Yes. Because it look, it's looks more green. More jadey. Yeah, exactly. Is that a word? Jadey? Yes. Yeah. Why not? It is a day. Reminds me of the Stedman Jade the carbon fiber knife we did and the CH1 both in mm -hmm. the Joel Jade. Though I think they both were a little longer and weren't slip joints, but you all know I'm not crazy about slip joints. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think this is a horrible design. I like it. Slip joints just aren't my thing. Follow the blade. Here it comes. The next one is the new Ontario TI-22. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. As we know, Ontario kicked off the year with a free launch of the pre-announced Ontario Besra. Besra sounds good Besra. to me. Which really resembles the Shakira. Oh, many ways. Shakira, yeah. Shakira. That's great. Uh, many ways, like the color, the size, the materials. They also did another knife, the TI-22, named after the chemical element titanium, whose atomic number is 22. Mm -hmm. It's a little fun fact for you. Fun fact. Yeah. All right. Oh, not stop. flag. Mm, not flag. Flag. And we were able to get it in a week or two ago and decided it was time to feature it on the show. This, of course, is my favorite knife on the table if for this week. You couldn't tell from the heavenly oh. angel noise. It's my third favorite. Yeah. Knife. And as of right now, it's only available in this ultra blue color. Which I cannot complain about because it's fantastic. Okay. It's fantastic. It is. Catch it. I'm going to do the specs on this mm -hmm. one this time. You do it. Okay, so this frame lock is 7.1 or 7.44 inches overall with a 3 inch satin finish OS 8 stainless steel Tonto style blade which is deployed via the flipper tab. Happy now guys, I didn't do stud, I said flipper tab. And features jimping and a decorative blood groove. The handle which is iridescent blue titanium shows off barrel spacers, a tip up or tip down carry pocket clip and it looks great added your collection. Wow, that was smooth. Yeah. Just like this there. nice pivot system. It's like Teddy Pendergrass. Wow. And you have it for just $49.95. Right here. At landknife.com. $49.95? Mm hmm Get me two. What do I like about this knife? I only buy so many knives. Everything. It reminds me of a clecker. I like frame locks. I like the styling of the handle. I like the tanto or tanto. The ting. As it closes. Oh, the ting. Yeah, you get that with these handles. They're really uh, I like nice. The handle I am a fan of OS 8, by the way. I know some people aren't, but. Yeah, that's a big cold steel type of. Yes. Yeah. I like everything Aussie. about it. There you go. That's nice. I also like that Ontario finally did something fun and new with their company. They did it for a reasonable price, which is even better. Love the color materials and the jumping. Anything else to add? <sighs> no? I can't think of anything. All good. All right. So, next knives on the table are the Kaiser Land in October, but first... Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. That way, you'll be entered into our giveaway. Sorry. For a chance Did I just randomly hit you? The... Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. I've been the best tech finger. 
While you're at it, head on over to AdelanteKnife.com's blog. Answer the AK trivia question there, and you'll be entered to win the Best Tech Fango, best which C did not open to show you, but there's Two chances to win two free knives. What could be better? Three chances to win three knives. But hey, I can think of some things. I was thinking you were going to go somewhere else with that. Oh, I was. Okay, like I said last week, it must be a gift, but yep. come on. She says she's moving out. Okay. Really? She yep. says she's moving out. Mm. I, 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 I'm sorry. I think I'm allergic to bull crap. Yeah, don't, that's pass, what I would, don't pass that over that's here. That's what we I don't would need say to her. Because well, she's been telling you she's been moving out for the past, what, five years? Well, look, she got everybody so convinced that my wife was like, well, we're going to go over and cut our grass today because it's like eight feet high. Really? Yeah, her Randy. You know, every, you know, her you gotta, Randy? Yeah. Her Randall. Randy's a handyman guy. He don't matter what his name is. It's just Randy. And he fixes things. He didn't come and cut the grass. We come and cut like the grass. Like the dryer? I had to do it on her mower. Oh, my gosh. It's ridiculous. Mower stalling. You know, she's out in the middle of the yard trying to plant flowers and dig up stuff while I'm driving a mower. How blowing old grass is she? On her. 70? Too old. Not old enough. Four, I don't know. Whichever one. It just... I don't she see says a she's moving three year old woman digging up stuff and planting says she's stuff. moving. Oh, she had my wife had her kids out there helping her. But oh. see, the whole thing now is when you do it, my wife gets angry because you know she's the one you just told me she's the one that wants to go over there. Yeah, but then after she's there for a while, she realizes how much she don't want to be there, just like the rest of us. I just put on some headset, now some glasses, cut that mower on high. That's my life, right around. People look me up, I just wave. And then I ride on away from him. It's a couple acres, so, you know. It ain't far, but you're out of sight. Wow. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, where does he go? What? Go oh. behind that tree. Oh, that's... Yeah. Is he? Okay. Well, there's your latest dose, people. Yep. Quick mention before we get to the Kaisers. We've got new QSP penguins. All right. Yes, I just had to, I had to show them. So, well, there's, there's the blue, the black, and tan micarta ones. Right. Yeah. And if you were wondering how the blue is any different from the denim... Here's the denim. I know I was wondering. Yeah, because <gasps> I thought they were going to be very close to the same thing. So. Look at there. That is nice. Yeah. What do you call a flock of penguins? A waddle. A waddle. Joel's got a waddle of penguins over there. <laughs> yep. So, I would like to be able to buy every single one of every kind, but. So would I. So I'm would not I. Not a millionaire. No. All you need to be is a three hundred dollar air. Do I? Mm-hmm. How many is there? About using? ten, I believe. Yeah, Thirty but, bucks piece. There you go. But some of them are more because they're coming from Ah, uh, you only need about four hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, way to adjust there. Okay, so sell that car you drive, and you'd be halfway there. Car I drive. <laughs> you talking about my moped? <laughs> no. A little moped. Moving on. <laughs> my, oh wait, I, sorry. I have a Vespa. A Vespa. <laughs> yeah. You do look I like upgraded. a Vespa rider, don't I you? I do. I am, and it's teal. You know what? You, so. you look like you should live in one of those cities where you come down the road and there's an uber electric motor bike thing, yeah. electric scooter laying on the side of the road, and you just pick it up and ride it for whoa, a couple whoa, of bucks. Whoa, 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 I don't just lay it down like a bike or a scooter. Well, that's what they do with it. You'll go through larger cities and they'll just be laying on the corner. They're not, Middle, they're not going to be in a little, like, no, bike No, no. People use them, drop them where they're at. Somebody else comes along, picks it up, puts a little thing in there, and takes off. That doesn't sound like me. It's crazy. All right. I like the Vespa idea. Let's go on and do the... Or a Red Viper. I'll take that one. That Vespa or a Viper. I mean, you know, uh, the choice is just... All right. So, the Kaiser Vanguard Land. You can do the specs. All right. This carry is available in Blackout and Green Micarta, which is the one we have here. Boop, boop. Overall, at 7.87 inch overall with a 3.35 inch bowler, N690, Tanto blade with a plain edge, flat grind, decorative blood groove, and... You know what I'm going to say. Jimping. Blade is open with a jimp flipper. Handle is checkered texturing for better grip and is offered in green or black micarta as previously mentioned. I think this is a modified Tonto. This is not exactly Tonto. I think that was my bad. Here, cause you I think it's it. more of a... Good. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even sure. It's in between like drop point, point clamp point. point. Yeah. Something Cause like that. Because I got the uh, kind of drop there. It's okay. So I can see how we'll live. you could say Tonto. It, Everybody makes mistakes. Yep. That is true. All right. Blade either has a black finish or a satin finish, depending on your choice. Finally, this knife has a deep carry pocket clip that will match the finish of your blade. 
is reversible and features an additional carry deep carry pocket clip that will match the um there's an extra place here attachment type of thing so you can slide it down the handle so that's interesting there's also a liner hole and barrel spacers and this budget friendly folder can be yours for just 69 bills lionlife.com so i'll go first go ahead this knife pictures really well. <laughs> Camera Girl did a great job on the banner. Yes, she did. Kudos, Camera Girl. Good yeah. job. Kissing she up the Camera Girl. Her, she just rolled her eyes. Why does she roll her eyes? Um, I like the McCarter style on this one more than the Kaiser Horn we did last week. Because it's not all roughed up. They've kind of got it seen on the edges. However, I like the blade style on the horn more over this one. However, this thing opens, as he would say, with authority. I mean, look at that. I wish I was the one That's credited nice. with saying that. But. Well, as C would say, phrasing someone else would say. Cartman, go so, ahead. Big bonus. Jimping. I like the jimping. Yep. And finally, I like the pocket clip. Not only can you make it, you know, reversible and even sit further in the pocket, but it has land written on it. No I way. like that. Yeah. That's a nice I wish touch. they would do it for all theirs. That would add just a touch that's something else no one else does. Hmm. I mean, come on, how, how could you not like that? So, what about you? What about me? What about you? Well, once again, actually, I don't think there's anything on the table this week that I don't like. Um, I like the texturing on this one. Makes it easy to hold, easy to use. And also, I'm big on the jimping on top because I like to be able to... Uh, I won't precision. cut our table again. Well, yeah, yeah. you can cut wood. Precision use. Uh, you know, it opens smoothly. I noticed that this week... Everything is closing a little smoothly, which is a uh, potential hazard for me. <laughs> but I like this knife. Great. That brings us to the Kaiser October. My least favorite. My least favorite. My least favorite, too. My least favorite on the table this week. And that's saying a lot since we did a flipper slip joint. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind. I know you did. I knew as soon as I mentioned that, it's like this one. So you can handle the specs on this one, though. Fine by me. Good, good. So, this folder is offered in blackout, the one we have here, mm -hmm. and red, which we were unable to locate at the time for the show. You couldn't find it? No, we got a bunch, and Jacrispy uh, misplaced them. So, we looked for them about everywhere. Couldn't find them. No. Hmm. You wouldn't... No, no, no. You're not saying... I'm not saying that there was a hunt for Red October. <laughs> Did you make the whole thing up just to use that joke? It looks like I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you? The hard part. I never would have thought. The hard part about playing that. chicken is knowing when to flinch. Oh, wow. Well, when you're not kissing babies. My mother-in-law is stealing their lollipops. That's way to swing that back Melting around. Melting them in a pot and making candies to take oh, to the people at bowling. No. Oh, I thought you were going to go Hansel and Riddle there. He eats children, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, if that was the case, I might keep her around. Anyways, go Here ahead. we go. This knife is 7.13 inch overall with a 2.91 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade with, you guessed it, jimping yes. and a modified sheep's foot cut. Black finish on this one. Satin on the red. This landlock has a black micarta handle barrel spacers, black finish tip-up pocket clip, and weighs just 3.2 ounce. Finally, it was designed by Dmitry Ozarenko, or Doc for short, a custom knife maker from St. Petersburg, Russia. This blade features a curved to fit hand handle, a finger choil to grip and go, and a strong holds edge well blade, which is opened with the recessed jimp flipper. Mm. Yep, I know. Both versions are available at landlife.com for just 129 All right. Here's what I think. I think you should stick to your own words, too. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it, it's a nice knife. Now, any other week, I would rank it a lot higher. I like that it's 154 CM. I'm not big on black blades. You know, it is what it is. I'd like it to be a little bit larger. But every single knife can't be exactly the way I want it. Or we would that's, only that's sell true. to me. <laughs> that's true. Now, there are certain things I like about it as well. It does, as you say, fit the handle really good. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I like the materials. They're high-end. They're nice. I just don't like the roughed-up Makarta look. That's just not my thing. It was on the Kaiser horn, and I didn't really like the Makarta handle. That I just don't. 
and I really don't like the recessed flipper stud. After I do it once or twice, my finger starts to hurt. Now, I'm a girl, so apparently that means I'm wimpy, and therefore it just hurts me more often. But if you did this, you could feel that every time you flip it, it kind of rubs the handle, so. I'm not saying you're a wimpy girl. It's just not my batch of Coke. <laughs> Which Coke? Either one. Okay. Yeah. I just don't like how you have to open it. But I, but then again, it's you can't just sell just Jules' opinion. That's okay? it. It's not concrete. It's not the gospel in the words of Phil Collins. Take this knife at face value. Oh, okay? man. That brings us to our final knife on the table and my favorite. Okay, just pause for effect. The newest version of this blade, the Gil Hibben Double Shadow. <laughs> I guess you're going to see my roots now. And they're not black. Hail far. There you go. There it is. Yep. It's not just for the name, is it? This knife is part of Gil Hibben's new series, the... Hail far. Series. There we go. Yep. It's for the name, isn't yep. it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is the most interesting one of the double shadows of basically of the entire series. Though they've got the Silver Shadow Dagger and the Highlander Boy, which are both nice, snazzy, they're great. But this one, this one's right up my alley. All right. I guess that means you're doing the specs. You can bet your giant cold steel Roger <laughs> too that you traded for that uh, I right. am doing the specs. Let's do it. So, the Hibben Double Shadow. Hell far! I'm sorry. It's 11 and a quarter inch overall with a 5.5 inch. Hell far! Design Damascus steel blade, which extends from a hefty metal hand guard with black chrome finish. The handle is wrapped with copper colored wire. Yes, copper colored. Highlighting the copper tones in the blade. There's also a skull crushing pommel, like the ones on the United Color M48 Cyclones. It comes with a genuine black leather belt sheath. So there it is. Ooh. With snap closure, and there's a clip for belt to carry so I don't know anyone's gonna carry this one on your belt except me for fun but you never know let me see if I can look at that and there's little holes that line up with the ones in the blade that's nice it's quite interesting okay I'm not gonna snap it closed <laughs> all right what were you doing by my back <laughs> I was just you, you know just what every time I say sense. that I, I go back to when I was a young C a young C. A little C. That means... Not uh, a capital C. A, a lowercase C. A lowercase C. And I think about my baseball coach. He's about to date himself. In a little league. I ain't dating nobody I here. I think back when no. you were a little C. Back when you were young? I was a little C. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he talked like that. Did that's he? A, I grew up in a place where everybody talked like that. Um, so that's... I just think about him. Hellfire. He'd say... That's as good as I get. Hit the ball out that ball! That's what he'd say. Like, Stay in there and hit the bar out the ball. Is he yelling at you at the sidelines? You're trying oh, to like... he, he yelled at everybody. Well, that's all. You, when you're a little league coach, that's all you do. Is he yell? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to show him how to do it. Don't do Oh, you do that, that in practice, but at the oh, game, you just you yell. Do, yeah, you yeah. Come on, good job. Get up in there. Stay in there. Hit the bar. Run. You're disturbing, Wendy. I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, here we go. All for the low price of one seventy four ninety nine. At landknife.com. There it is. Hell far. Don't, don't even. I know what you're thinking, but leave her out of this. <laughs> when you say hell far, I immediately think of the devil. Don't you? <laughs> Not the same devil, I don't think. <laughs> Slightly different one going on. It's like a push-up pop. That's it. And that scared me too. All right, here Lord. we go. All right. What so, do you think? What well, are your thoughts on the Hellfire? I'm a big Hibben fan. Now, I, I actually like the like the Silver Shadow. I like the ones that are all polished and nice. Set them up, display them. I mean, you obviously, I'm not going to use this. If you do, you're going to be arrested. So, or you're never going to get... Take me away. <laughs> I feel like somebody, take it. There's probably somebody out there be like, you know what, I think I can... Uh, Carry that. ...skin a deer with this thing. Give me that thing. Oh, you have to... I can do it with a pair of toenail it. clippers. <laughs> Pair of toenail clippers. I would, <laughs> I would display this and throw the box out because I would never want to put it away. Okay, that's mm. all I have to say. And I do think they should do a new version with actual copper wire. I know that would cost a little more, make it weigh a little more, but I just think they cheaped out just a touch. You think so? Yeah, they could have used something a little nicer instead of just doing copper colored wire. But well, it does look nice on the blade. I'll give it that. Since that was our last blade on the table. Wah, wah, wah. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.
along with ringing that bell. Oh, so you can be connected with all, all of our content. Mm -hmm. All of it. You know, the episodes, yeah. the reviews, C's cutting it up. Joel's all that. doing reviews. Mm. What is the world coming to? I don't know. Also, make sure to head on over to AK's blog and answer the trivia question. And you will be entered to win the Best Tech Manga. There it is. Catch us on any social media sites. That's great. You know, I do have a good <laughs> I know. Like Hell Instagram, fire. Pinterest, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, and... No. Parlor. Like the norm, I'm seeing this is... Jewel. Bring in Just the Just Jewel. Fire. All far. <laughs> and we're signing off.